Gospel of August 24, 2015, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Philip found Nathanael and told him, We have found the one about whom Moses wrote in the law, and also the prophets, Jesus, son of Joseph, from Nazareth. But Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come from Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, Here is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, How did you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God, you are the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Did you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than that. And he said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you. You will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we are, of course, are celebrating the feast of San Bartholomew, Apostle. And I would like to concentrate just on this beautiful um, gospel according to John. Philip, who has already met Jesus, immediately goes to see his friend, to tell about the good news to Nathanael. And when he finds him, he tells them, he tells him, we have found the one about whom Moses wrote, and also about whom the prophets wrote. He is Jesus, the son of Joseph, from Nazareth. Now, Nathanael, who is just as the Lord described him, without duplicity. The word in Greek is very beautiful, dipsyche, which means that there is no double soul, no nothing to hide inside his conscience. He is plain and simple. So this simple man immediately asks what it is inside his heart. Can anything good come from Nazareth? Why from Nazareth? Because Nazareth from Galilee, from Galilee was a place of the pagans. So how could a prophet, there was never a prophet from that place. And how could the prophet, the man designed by God to save his people, would come from there? That is part of the rejection in the first place of Nathanael. Can anything good come from there? Philip does not enter into the argument just as I or perhaps you and many of us that sometimes we want to defend God and he does not need to be defended he just needs to be given to be shared just as Philip does Philip's, Philip does not argue he just says come and see meet the Lord then you will know now as soon as Jesus saw Nathanael, he says, Here is a true child of Israel, there is no duplicity in him. And again the character of Nathanael is shown. How did you know me? Certainly he hadn't, he hadn't met Jesus before. So he's asking a very important question. How did you know me? And now the Lord is going to speak to the heart, to the conscience of Nathanael, with words that are mysterious to us. Before Philip called you, I saw you under, under the fig tree. There have been plenty of speculation about these mysterious words. Whether the fig tree meant the synagogue, whether a bunch of stuff. The reality is that none of us know. Only God and Nathanael know for sure. But those words touch the nerve in the heart of Nathanael. Perhaps, and this is a speculation of mine, perhaps Nathanael had been, prayer to, had been praying to God that he would be given wisdom, be praying to God somehow. But the Lord gave him, or going back to what the same Lord says about the Holy Spirit, no one can come to me unless the Father concedes him. The Father has already 
in this moment given the Holy Spirit to Nathanael who opens himself to the Holy Spirit and full of the Holy Spirit answers Rabbi you are the son of God you are the king of Israel he is professing his faith no one can call Jesus son of God unless he is moved by the Holy Spirit Rabbi you are the son of God you are the king of Israel he is the first of the twelve to say those words you are the son of God now the Lord wants to temper him would you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree you will see greater things than this and of course because he wants Nathanael and you and me and every children of his that our faith may become stronger and stronger now I'd like to ask you something when was that time when you started believing in the Lord when was that spe special time when you felt the presence when you somehow got illumined by that light of the Holy Spirit you have to treasure that and I know that there are a few of them of you that are hearing me today that have had not that have not had this experience and I beg you to pray our Father to grant you that experience as I pray to you as I pray for you today Father concede that all or your children get to know the Lord concede it in a living experience so that our hearts may be moved that experience just as Pope, the six, Pope Paul the VI used to say an experience with open hearts and palpit, with open eyes and palpitating hearts it's not a dream it is the reality that goes beyond our wildest imaginations treasure that experience but do not stop from there from there you have to let that faith grow as the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit shows, show you His work, His love for you, His mercy. And that is why it ends, you will see heaven opened and the angels ascending and descending on the Son of Man. Today we pray the Apostle Bartholomew that he might intercede before the Father for all the children of God, you and I, to become just like that, to have that experience, to be allowed to hear the voice of our Lord Jesus inside our conscience, inside our hearts. Those words that are so sweet that will be embedded, that will be marked in our, in our hearts forever until we meet in heaven. God bless you all, brothers.